5 Tips Building Unpressurized Spacecraft Number 1. Control Pay special attention when choosing your starting part and how it might be attached to your launch vehicle. Even though the command chair part allows you to operate your vehicle, I still usually start with a probe brain. Probe brains are quite handy because in one part they provide both a place to control from and torque. Unpressurized spacecraft designed for extravehicular activity and landing on the moon also benefit from a large amount of torque. I usually build them around SAS units. It's always a good idea to include a central probe brain or docking port to control from. A central point of reference for your nav ball can make landers and other spacecraft extremely more usable. Number 2. Scale When building unpressurized vehicles for Kerbals to interact with during EVA, it's important to understand the size of a Kerbal. A good visual aid for the size of a spacewalker is about half the width of the smallest structural plate, and about equal in height when standing. This can be a handy trick when constructing vehicles to be used by spacewalkers. Number 3. Kerbal Weight It's important to consider the approximate weight of a spacewalker and how their weight in the chair will affect the center of mass of your unpressurized vehicle. Monopropellant engines found in the propulsion tab are an excellent stand-in for Kerbals. Planting monopropellant engines in seats can be an excellent way to save time testing vehicles. Even though a Kerbal doesn't weigh very much, it's still a very good idea to use stand-ins in testing. The weight of occupied chairs will throw off your center of mass. Number 4. Test Rigs even though monopropellant engines are an excellent stand-in for Kerbals, you'll still reach a phase in design where you need to fully test it. Because Kerbals can't spawn in command chairs, you'll have to find a way to attach a command pod and get your Kerbals to the test rig. Test rigs are a vital phase testing unpressurized spacecraft. Also keep in mind you don't have to be right next to a command chair to board it, boarding from a ladder or nearby. Number 5. Propulsion because most unpressurized spacecraft are small, even controlling thrusters can be an excellent propulsion system. I personally tend to favor monopropellant propulsion. Testing monopropellant craft may prove difficult, requiring you to launch these test rigs into orbit. Testing the propulsion systems of unpressurized spacecraft can be essential, as a little push goes a long way. Monopropellant engines are usually easiest to use in groups, However, they provide almost too much thrust. Be sure that your unpressurized spacecraft has a lot of torque to compensate. The same rules extend to liquid fuel engines, as they put a lot of thrust on a small amount of mass. You'll find capable RCS systems and SAS systems are essential for controlling these craft. Thanks for watching, and do join me next time for 5 Tips Building Space Stations.